Hey, here is my homemade Iron Man arc reactor and how I made it. Um, first off, to light it up, I got an LED strip from AutoZone. It's like LEDs on a strip of 3M tape that you can put like in your headlights or whatever. And that was 20 bucks and it comes with a little battery pack and a push switch. I've got to change this switch to a one that stays on, but lights up really well. Looks just like the Looks like the real thing off the movie. And for the for the coiled wires, I actually used staples and just break them off into the section size sections you need and spray them with copper spray paint. And uh, for the clear part between the staples, I used the bottom of a water bottle from Walmart. That was like 96 cents. And for the uh, this black part, that is the lid of a rattle can paint rattle can and I just dremeled out the middle and just dremeled out each one of these little holes. These are just metal tabs that I cut out. Um, the centerpiece is the back of a Harbor Freight uh, flashlight that they give out for free. And then I glued a sink strainer screen onto the back of that. And then the very back uh, piece is a piece of mirror that I cut out in a circle and glued to the back of some pipe from Home Depot. That's three inch pipe. And then this uh, centerpiece right here is a, I don't know what it is, it's a nylon washer thing for that I got in the sink section at Home Depot as well. But anyways, I, everything's glued together with either hot glue or epoxy and lights up really well. But yeah, get the lights from AutoZone. That's a really easy way to light these up for your homemade arc reactor.